Hey guys, how are you? So I got this email from somebody I thought it might be encouraging for you guys. So title, Finding Courage to Learn to Code. So this is an email that was sent to me. Hello, dear Steph. I am one of your channel viewers. I am from Iran and a software engineering graduate. Due to bad economic situations in my country, I've spent five years after graduation doing something else rather than coding. When I discovered your channel, I had completely forgotten about programming and lost my confidence in ever getting back into it. You have given me courage to start over and learn the web stack. I have started from scratch and learned HTML5, CSS, and JS and went on learning PHP and MySQL. I have created a website for my profile and started to do some freelancing as a back-end developer. Then I moved to Laravel Framework and after two years, I completed four freelance projects, two with Laravel and two with raw PHP. When I had these four projects under my belt, I had enough confidence to apply for jobs. I started applying for web developer positions in Germany and went for initial and technical interviews. After around five months of applying, I managed to secure a job offer from a web agency in Düsseldorf. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. You pushed me to get back on. It helped me to build my future. I wish you all the best in life. Best regards. So there you go. So here's a, an individual who uh, is in a pretty rough situation being in Iran with all the sanctions and so forth. So he had to, you know, deal with some major hurdles and uh, he just progressed following the steps that I lay out, learn the fundamentals, uh, do a profile profile site, do two to three freelance projects, and the opportunities will open up for you. This is something I'm talking about over and over again. I could go out and create all kinds of tutorials and sell all kinds of courses on this framework and that library and this framework, but I would be wasting your time. You learn the fundamentals and then you want to step in the ring, start building right away. So if you're somebody who's a little dejected, I, I think the word is, if you're a little feeling a little down about your prospects because you're thinking about chat GPT or you're thinking about the economy slowing down, here's somebody who's in a heavily sanctioned country and is able to make it happen. You can make it happen too. Just follow the steps I laid out, whether you're using my program or just doing it on your own, that's up to you. You can do it, but you just got to be consistent you got to be patient. you got to take your time. You have to understand when you're learning how to code, there is some challenge to it. There's no question, but that's why it's valuable. Whenever you hit a point when you're doing anything, especially coding, you hit a point where it's some difficulty, remind yourself that difficulty, that stumbling block, that barrier is what makes coding valuable. So if you can be one of the people who's able to work a little bit and get over that, Get over that hump and progress and learn the craft, learn the skill. You will succeed. There's no question about it. The demand keeps increasing, even though they're doing layoffs now, which is kind of normal. Whenever you see the boom bust cycles, especially in development, when everything's hot, all the big tech companies will hire tons of people because they're afraid they're not, they're not going to have enough talent to execute on whatever they're working on. And of course, whenever you have a, a bubble, a frenzy, a, a mania in anything, you get a lot of what they call malinvestment, bad investment, because everybody's just going crazy. I got to, I got to, and they overpay and they overdo it. Uh, it's like going to a buffet and you see all this amazing food and you go, I got to eat this, I got to eat this, and I got to eat this, I got to eat that. And then at the end of the buffet, you're like, oh my God, I ate too much. So that's what happened with the tech companies. They went to the coder buffet, they hired too many people, and now they're a little sick, so they're just laying off people. Again, though, one of the things to remember is that a lot of the people that they're laying off are not coders necessarily. If you're a talented developer, you know how to, you know how to code, you can get along with people, you got good communication skills, good organizational skills, you don't smell, you show up on time, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you're fine. You'll be fine. Don't worry about that. Throw in a little FU money as I teach, and then you won't worry about losing your job because you're going to have a nice, nice stash of cash, keep you going during the slow times. You'll be okay. Anyway, I hope this is encouraging. That's why I'm here. I'm trying to bring reality 
to the on to online YouTube world in terms of coding. This is reality. We have somebody here in a rough situation was able to make it. So that means you should be able to make it too. Hi, my name is Steph. I'm a mentor. I teach people not only how to code, but how to be professional developers. Check out my mentoring program below. It's unique in the world. It's flexible. It's fun. You can do it working part-time at it. You can take your time because there's no artificial end dates. You get live coaching. You get all the advantages of distance learning and all the advantages of personalized training as well. All right. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Two last things. A, I have a Discord channel that has over 3,000 members. I invite you to join. Link below. And I also have a newsletter. I invite you to uh, join that as well. You can sign off anytime. And, uh, you know, you get some specialized emails from me. We'll talk soon. Bye.